Well, me, I know we've come to the end of the international break. How's, how's things been for you? Uh, it's been a, a good, uh, not break, but a good training week. Uh, and uh, yeah, last week as well with the, with the reserved uh, game. And uh, yeah, good 90 minutes. It's uh, been a long time since I, I played 90 minutes, but I'm really happy to, to be back and uh, been running around and playing football again. How fit do you feel? How, how confident in your body do you feel right now? I feel uh, very confident. And, uh, yeah, as I played uh, 90 minutes, I feel like I can push more uh, also to get more minutes uh, in the first team. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm striving to. We've, we've spoken, unfortunately, we've, we've had to speak about this before, but it's been a very stop start life for you, uh, Brentford. How frustrating has that been for, for you? Yeah, I remember we had the uh, similar interview uh, back in November or something, <clears throat> and uh, I said I was ready to to attack uh, uh, all the games and and how frustrating it, it has been. And uh, yeah, if you can double double that now, and uh, all the frustration have been doubled up, and it's been uh, a really tough tough period uh, over the Christmas and the winter time. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I just had to to not think too much about uh, being injured twice and uh, walking with my head down too much. Uh, I just uh, think I accepted it uh, really quick, just uh, moving forward. And uh, I think I'm a person that just uh, uh, yeah, accept it and then work hard uh, towards my 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 goals and uh, my my challenges I, I face. You touched on working hard there. You're, you're someone that you often see, or we often see out here, you know, doing extras after training, you know, st stay, staying out longer. Do you feel you're almost trying to make up for lost time a, a little bit with that? Or, or is that something you just naturally, you just always naturally do? Uh, it is natural uh, as well, but I think, I also think in, uh, in that way, that uh, yeah, I, I have lost some time uh, in the gym, being in the gym and, uh, uh, yeah. Um, what's the aim now for you? There's there's eight eight nine games left this season. What's the aim for you between now and the end of the season? Yeah, it's of course to to get more playing time and get more into to the squad and uh, uh, yeah uh, push more uh, to the other guys. They have been doing well, uh, so yeah, yeah, try to help them and also uh, try to get uh, more minutes as well. And what do you think is possible for? For the group at, at Brentford before the end of the season. Yeah, it's a it's a good question and something we we have been talked to uh, in the team and uh, I think it's important for us just to take uh, one one game at a time and <clears throat> and obviously in the in the time that you were off the pitch you've had a lot of work with the the medical staff and the sports science staff. But what sort of conversations were you having with with Thomas and Brian and, and the coaching staff in that time that you were, were coming back? Uh, yeah, when I was injured, I I spoke to them a little bit that I have uh, I did well when I was playing and it was uh, very unfair and unlucky that I I got injured. But I I should just be patient and uh, yeah do do everything to to come back uh, strong and uh, because they still trust trust me and uh, and have uh, faith so. Uh, yeah, that's that's what they told me, uh, and now it's uh, it's the same. I can feel they they believe in me, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, now it's just uh, the last uh, small details uh, that I have to get used to. And you you came on before the international break for a couple of cameos against some of the the better sides mm -hmm. in the division. How much of a difference did you see between Brentford and, and those sides at the, the top end of, of the division in those games? Mm, I don't see a big difference. It was actually the same games I came back for in, in November, uh, and I think we we matched them uh, uh, really good, and yeah, we won against Middlesbrough uh, and was the the better team. Uh, and against Sheffield, we we had the ball uh, seventy percent or something, uh, and we should should have got uh, at least one point in that game. Uh, so I think. It's, it's uh, the small margins that uh, that is the difference between us and and the biggest team there in top six. Uh, 
and that's something we try to change every day and go uh, in every detail in, in the training, uh, try to, to, to fix that, yeah. And just, just finally, when we spoke after you played the, the beating game, you said about how you felt this new formation would, would suit you. Now you've had a couple of games in, in the first team set up, do you still feel the same that they will, this will bring the rest out of you? Yeah, I think it's a it's it's a really nice system, uh, and in the in the reserve game I played as a striker, and that suited suited me really well as uh, as well. So uh, yeah, I I think I can play the the three positions up front, uh, and that suits me really well to to know I have wing backs with me, so I can play the white uh, without looking.